got home from watching Immaculate, starring Sidney Sweeney as this nun who goes to a, monas- uh, a, 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 a convent in Italy, right? And then there's a sinister thing that happens there. Sounds kind of familiar to another movie that's coming out in a, a couple other weeks, but I'm not going to go there yet. I'll save that for my live stream after I watch that movie, and we'll make comparisons then. But I'm going to tell you the truth about this movie, Immaculate. I actually liked it, and if the if the first omen has anything to say, uh, if I have anything to say about the first omen at this point, it has a tough act to follow, to be honest with you. This movie surprised me. It was It was very well written and very well shot. Like... All right, this nun, young nun, she, a young woman, she, she goes to Italy and she goes to this convent in the middle of nowhere and she's welcomed there by everybody. Some sisters are nicer to her than others, fine. She does her vows there. And then, and this is all in the trailer. All of a sudden, you know, as, as time goes on and she's there, something miraculous happens. She's pregnant with child. And she didn't have sex with anybody, so it, that's why the movie's called Immaculate. It's an immaculate conception of sorts, right? And um, as the movie progresses, she, as in the, during the course of her pregnancy, she starts realizing that this is not as miraculous as it may seem. Apparently, there was an elaborate plot there, and you kind of see there was something wrong going on there in the very beginning of the movie because in the beginning of the movie you see another woman another nun trying to get away trying to escape from the convent and it doesn't end well with her as a matter of fact it's quite disturbing and one of the things i liked about this movie is that it did have its disturbing elements to it did it have jump scares yeah one here or there but it wasn't that really wasn't what the movie was on what attracted me to the to the story was kind of the visual of it. It was very well shot. Like when things were dark, they were dark. When they were by candlelight, they were by candlelight. And there was a lot of candles in this movie. Eventually finds out that there's something wrong here. And when she does find out what's going on, I'm not gonna give anything away here, go see the movie. Um, I bugged out. I was kind of like, really? Like it was a little out there when I found out what the real deal was. And I was like, really? Okay. You know, because I, th- I thought it was going to be another Antichrist kind of thing. Kind of isn't. <laughs> you know, I'll explain it in the live stream because I'm going to go full spoilers there when I talk about that and the first omen after I see it. But when I, when I, I bugged out. I was like, and, and and to be real, to be real with you, I as a horror fan and a practicing Catholic, I don't really let, um, I guess the sacrilegious nature of some of these horror movies get to me. You know, um, not not many do that. This one had moments when I kind of I kind of cringed a bit. I was like, ooh, ooh ah, you know. Like, I was having a hard time with processing that. You know, it was just kind of weird. You know, like, like, uh, and of course, you know, some people may have a problem, bigger problem with it, dealing with it than, than maybe I would. I wouldn't necessarily say that um, I had a problem with it. I, it just made me cringe, you know, because as a believer... You know, there are certain things you kind of just don't touch. You just kind of don't go there with it. And they kind of went there a little bit here, <laughs> here and there, you know. Though I've seen worse, to be real. I've seen worse. So, um, you know, but it did make me cringe. Helped with the movie, though. Helped with the story. Um, there's definitely a psychological element to it. There's definitely a horror element to it. It's, it's, it's creepy there's creepy moments when you're like oh there were moments i was like what you know like it was it had that and 
I always appreciate that. This was made by Neon Pictures. Neon Pictures is a kind of a good company, you know, like they they kind of up there with A24 films. They kind of really sh- dishing out the real good stuff, to be honest with you. And and I'm really appreciate that this movie. I didn't think I was going to like it the way I did. I actually did, you know, like it. Um you know, Sidney Sweeney did uh, an amazing good job in this film, you know, portraying the nun, you know. Um, her name was Cecilia, like St. Cecilia, you know. And forget about it, you know, like like her trying to process what was going on, why she, you know, it, it was just so good. You know, her her acting was genuine. Like, you, you really felt what she was going through. And, um you know, and then when she finally result, you know, found the resolve to kind of try to do something about it, she tries to do something about it. She doesn't play, okay? She she really doesn't, and and you see that, and you care about that, and you want her to win, and you want her to, you know, make it and whatever. And does she watch the movie? I don't want to spoil it, but I will tell you this: I'm gonna give Immaculate three coffee cups, okay? Um, it was a good story. I don't know if I would necessarily buy it on, on 4k. I might. Would I see it again? Yeah, I would, you know, um, but I'm not like running to the store to get it when it does get released. So, you know, um, but it, it was really good. You know, I really enjoyed it. Um, so go see it, come back here, talk to me, let me know, comment, on your thoughts on this film um will it be like the first omen which is really staple fifth who knows right well and we'll be doing a live stream here in a couple of weeks or more to kind of process all of it all right figure out what is going on here it's going to be more about the first omen than anything but i'm going to definitely bring up this movie because there's so many similarities right as a matter of fact before they played the movie they one of the previews was the first omen and i'm kind of like watching this like really you know like it's so weird so let me know what you think if you like the content here please consider subscribing and tap on that bell for future notifications for future horror and coffee content i really appreciate you guys let's get to 1000 subscribers by year's end all right have a nice celebration until next time this is ralph perez horror and coffee Take care.